सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू द प्रोजेक्ट लाइब्रेरी मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिज़ाइन दिस इट डिज़ाइन द डैशबोर्ड ओके लेट मी शो यू डैट वी डिज़ाइन दिस डैशबोर्ड ओवर योर ओके एंड टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कोड फॉर दिस बटन बुक्स अवेलेबल ओके सो फॉर दैट will create a new uh, this uh, swing gui forms okay so here and j frame then click on next and give the name as uh, as books available okay so and then cl click on finish so i have already created that so i'll just show you that uh, design and the code okay so books available uh, so in that first of all we need to design that okay so this is the design that i have already made so let me tell you how it is uh, like done okay so see you can see over here uh, there is a table okay so this is the j table and uh, in this we are going to like uh, show or represent our uh, books uh, available table that is uh, like stored in the Uh, mysql database okay so we will be fetching those datas from there and we will be showing that in uh, over here in this table okay so uh, you just need to like drag it over here okay drag this and see you can see here uh, as title 1 title 2 title 3 and title 4 these are the four columns okay already given into this table so we can edit this like you know, just right click on it uh click on table contents and go on to columns see here already uh, four columns are present see the count is four you can increase it or decrease it okay so uh, see uh, we have like uh, in this uh, books table in our database we have uh, five columns okay so we need five columns over there as well with these names book id category name author and copies okay so we'll go back there and we will increase one more uh, column and we'll change the uh, title okay so instead of title one we will give like book id and category and so on over here okay and then just close it and one more thing uh, here over here rows in this you can see that the count is 4 okay so we don't want any uh, like uh, rows from uh, like initially okay we need uh, rows only when we click a fetch button okay so we don't want any um, any of the rows from like initially so just make it zero okay just make it zero and then close okay so since i have already like uh, made the table so i'll just remove this uh yeah so see uh this is how your table would look like after increasing one column and giving its names like book id category name author copies okay and then i have given two buttons over here one is the fetch button as you can see over here and the second one is the back button okay so on clicking on fetch button i'll get all the records uh like the books available uh, okay so in this table and on clicking this back button i'll go back to the dashboard okay so let's start the code for it so we'll start with the fetch button so in the fetch first of all see first of all you need to import these uh, packages okay because we are going to like use the classes that are present in these uh, packages so we need to import these uh, you just uh, see once import uh, java.sql.star like we will be using too many classes of sql so that's why i have taken as directly as sql.star and then swing j option pane swing uh, table and see i have like after giving these two i have given this star so it doesn't uh, like make any sense these two lines uh, you can directly use this one okay and it will like import all the necessary uh, classes packages so uh, okay and then we'll move to the coding part this uh, fetch action perform button okay this uh, button's code uh, so over here uh, see first of all 
uh, we have made this default table model okay this is the like mm, this table this table we need to like uh, code for this table so for that we have the like uh, uh, data uh, i won't say data type it's a class okay so we are creating one uh, object of this class default table model model is equals to default table model uh, j table 1 dot get mode 1 okay so yeah uh, this is the like uh, a class default table model okay and we are creating its object over here so uh, i've taken the like variable name as model and this is the like a method you can say that you have to follow uh, that you have to use in order to use this uh, table so you just have to write this okay default table j table uh, that is called as j table and dot uh, get model okay uh, then uh, we are like uh, storing the uh, path of that uh, database in this url uh, this is of type string so we are uh, like storing this into this url then the account that is the root account so uh, in that in this user and the password the database password okay so you will have to store that as well over here in this pwd uh, so i mean we are doing the same thing that we did in the login page okay so you can uh, either of like storing these three over here you can directly give this uh, these values into this like in this uh, parenthesis okay but uh, it is like uh, easier to you know first store and then uh, give these uh, uh, variables over here so that's why uh, it is a good practice and uh, uh, that's why i use that and that only okay and uh, the query that we are this is the most important part okay the query that we are going to perform okay in order to like uh, fetch all the um, details of the books table so in uh, database we use this uh, uh, like uh, statement okay we use this query in our database to like get all the details of the uh, of any table okay uh, this is the name of the table okay so just let me show you that in uh, dbms see over here select asterisk from books when i uh, use this statement then uh, the output is this table okay containing all the details of uh, table books so we will be like uh, sending this query to database okay and then the output that we will get in that database will be like uh, fetched from there to here okay so now in the try block we'll try to establish the connection and do all the uh, stuffs okay so as usual like uh, in the previous uh, uh, video also in the login page we did this connection con is equals to driver manager dot get connection and url user and password uh, we are sending these three and uh, these three values okay in order to log into our mysql database and then uh, uh, statement stm is uh, like created and then the result uh, result set rs uh, is like uh, to execute the query okay and the query is sent over here see this query is uh, like we are sending this query through this and uh, now this block while rs dot next rs this is the rs so this exactly means that till there is a like a, um, unvisited row in the table okay so till then this loop will continue to ex execute like it will continue uh, executing okay till there, there is uh, an uh, unvisited row in the table okay as soon as the number like uh, mm, the rows are empty in the table it will come out of the loop okay so for that reason we use this rs dot next uh, under while condition so in that uh, see we had like uh, five columns okay you can see over here we have five columns in this books table so we need to fetch all the details one by one from these tables okay and then we'll, we will have to like uh, show them into the table so what we are going to do is that uh, uh, first of all one more thing 
you just see the data type of all these uh, columns see book id for book id it is varchar uh, that is string you can use uh, string for that in uh, uh, like uh, netbeans over here for java and uh, category is also varchar name is also varchar author is also varchar and the copies number of copies is int okay so accordingly we will uh, code here so all the fourth were string okay varchar so we will use string over here and we will give any variable name uh, i have uh, kept it relevant to the thing that i am uh, you know fetching so book id rs dot get string and here the column name okay that is present in the database so book id and this uh, what will happen uh, through this code is that whatever value would be present in the book id okay uh, in that particular row will be like fetched into this book id similarly the the uh, value stored in the category column will be fetched into this category and the name would be stored in this name variable uh, author's uh, name will be like uh, uh, stored in this author and the number of copies um, this is like um, this is int so we have taken uh, int over here and uh, the method is rs dot get int and copies okay so all the uh, like uh, records are uh, like stored in all these variables okay now we have to like add these uh, values to the to this table okay to this table so what we will do is that we will see over here we have created this model object okay for that table so we will write as model that add row okay what this will do this will add a row to that table and in that row we will be providing these values okay so uh, we, we will uh, write as new object and in the curly braces we will give these values so book id then category then name author and copies in the uh, normal format in the same uh, like uh, uh format as uh, that we in and as it is present in the database okay so uh, and this will keep on continue continuing till there is an unvisited uh, row in the uh, books table in database okay so after performing all the rows after fetching values from all the rows and storing that into the table uh, the, um, the program will come out of this loop and rs will be closed stm statement will also be closed okay and our uh, like uh, i mean the process will be completed okay so uh, since we have given a try block we need to give a catch block as well like any uh, uh, error or something goes wrong so for that in now uh, in order to like uh, detect that and to handle that we need to use this catch block in that we are showing an option uh, like message uh, using the j option pane dot show message dialog uh, this and e dot get message it will automatically provide a, a suitable message to the user okay and uh, now for the for this back button the code is just one line of code okay this dot dispose this will do what this will dispose this uh, books available uh, like a window and we will move back to this dashboard window okay and one more thing on in this dashboard that uh, uh, like uh, for this books available button we will have to write a code that when books available button is clicked in this dashboard window then we we should like uh, move to the books available uh, window okay so for that we are like we have written the code we will create a new object called uh, the variable name is books okay so a new object of books available and we will like set it uh, to visible okay set visible and we'll give true and uh, see one thing like in the login page in this we used like oh yeah you can see we use this dot this dot dispose as well after dsh dot set visible like after uh, enabling this dashboard window we disposed this log login page okay so we did that over there because uh, after logging in 
we don't want that login uh, page window um, again okay we we have just logged into our account now that window is of no use so that's why we disposed that over there but while moving from dashboard to books available we want that book and dashboard still like uh, we don't want it to like uh, uh, you know uh, get disposed because uh, if we like uh, exit from books available then we have to uh, like move back to dashboard so that's why we are not disposing it over here we are just creating a new window that is the books available window and uh, we are like we uh, exactly we are uh, using this books dot set visible and giving it as true okay so by this we will move on to books uh, available table and uh, then when uh, we'll cut that or when we'll exit that window then we'll move back to this dashboard window so now the code is done and let's see the um, demonstration part so i'll run the project and uh, you know, see the username username was satish at the rate one two three okay the password was satish one two three four five four three two one okay and i'll log in once i log in you can see there's uh, no login window behind it it's it has been disposed okay and now in the dashboard uh, if i like uh, uh, click on books available see books available i've come on to this window okay the table is still empty uh, the column names are like book id category name author and copies okay so i'll click on fetch and as you can see as i clicked on fetch all the data that were present in the table as you can see over here see uh, that mm, exactly the same data are being uh, so being shown over here in this table okay so as you will like uh, increase the number of uh, rows into this like uh, as you will enter the number of uh, uh, books more number of books into this then uh, it will cover the whole table and uh, you will be able to scroll that as well after that okay so for right now we have only 10 books available so that's why it's taking only the half of the space and uh, so it's working and if we click on back button so see we clicked on back button so we have come on to the dashboard just wait a minute i'll show it again to you books are available i'll click on it uh, i fetched it the data are here available and uh, when you click on back you'll go back to the dashboard okay so this was the whole uh, um, code for the books available button now we will be like uh, in the next video we will be uh, doing the code for uh, one of these uh, like buttons okay either add books remove books or any any one of them so most probably i'll uh, start with the add books only so yeah uh, so i'll meet you in the next video then thank you